Yo, yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about five tips to create a winning t-shirt design. And also, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys smash the like button, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll get to them all. So number one is uh, spying on your competition, right? And we're gonna do some research and it all depends where you like to do research personally yourself. Um, do you like to do research on Amazon? Do you like to do research on Etsy? Do you like to do research on Google? And this example, we're gonna get into the computer, we're gonna do research on Etsy. All right, so I'm over here on Etsy.com, I'm incognito mode, right? So, uh, first things first, when you're doing any type of research, putting in the keyword, that you, whatever niche you're in, it can be dog, sloth, cat, monkey, whatever it is, right? Typing in the search bar to see what type of results it gives you. It's like one of the, the ways you can do research, right? And it's, it'll tell you, it'll shoot out keywords right here. So for example, this is your best friend. So the search bar, click the search bar, it's gonna pop up, pop, popular right now, right? And it's gonna show you all these. So gifts under 30, right? None of these are related to anything with, hmm, I guess some, some of these things can relate to print on demand, right? If depending on what type of product you're using, but gifts under 30, like you just type, you like click on that, you know, pop up things, right? Some ideas here, but I found a, a simple text-based design, right? See, one of the coolest things on Etsy is when you're doing research, it gives you a lot of social proof information to kind of make sure there is a demand in this niche. So if I'm drunk, it's my sister's fault, right? And there's this, you can scale this design out by, there's so many different ways you can scale this out. My cousin's fault, my brother's fault, my boyfriend's fault, my husband, my girlfriend, you know what I mean? There's so many different ways you can scale that out. Um, but this is a cool thing. Etsy tells you how many people added it to cart. Four people added this to cart. But not only that, there's reviews down here, right? Okay, so this is huge. There's the sisters right there. This is really awesome because you can just see my mother and her younger sister. Okay, and then this is one of the ways how powerful this is by doing just like design and research to see if there's a, a demand in this niche. Like I said, checking the, one of the first things that I like to do is check to see if how many people added to cart. And then come down here. This is actual social proof. Someone purchased this item and left a freaking review down below under this product. So there's your proof. Those are your signals right there, right? And if you want to get more details, you can kind of look at the keywords and see what they're ranking for to see what um, niche they're trying to target. This right here is really awesome. Really cool. All right. So adding humor to your shirt, right? You want to make people laugh. But if you make someone laugh, it's, it's like a... Like, take my money. Very Shut up and take my money. It's tip number two. It's really important to make people laugh. If you make people laugh with the design, they think it's cute, make them smile, make them laugh, you know what I mean? They get that feeling, they get that vibe from that t-shirt, the design itself, the design on the t-shirt, they're most likely going to purchase it. It gives them a good feeling, right? Or add it to cart or whatever the heck they're going to do. So it's important that you make an engaging design t-shirt design um for that person to make them make them happy right all right so going back to making the person laugh making the customer laugh right so if i'm drunk if i'm drunk it's my sister's fault right and you can see like the humor behind this the two sisters in the picture right here and right and this is an actual customer wearing a shirt so if you if you use this as an example it's it's making a person laugh and this is what i mean by making the customer laugh because you'll end up buying one or two shirts or three shirts right and this is big right now especially going into any holiday or anything like that family getting together buying multiple shirts or they're big right now during like especially going into q like q4 the most busiest time of the year um this is a perfect example now if you go into like matching family or matching couple shirts any of that stuff and mixing them like an event like Christmas or something like that. Santa, Santa's favorite hoe. You know what I mean? It's like stuff like this. Um, these are big sellers. You know, obviously you can tell best seller. And like looking at this, over 20 people added it to cart. And you can see another couple right here uh, in a picture together. So this is really cool. And by looking at the reviews, look, there's more right here. This is awesome, right? So making the person laugh with any of your print on demand products is a big win for you as an individual. Um, now, like just an individual design, you can see over here, let's click over here like this, for example, like something that's going on right now in the world, right? So 2020, anything like this, you have to be careful too as well. 
just to be safe on and just make this very clear, like certain platforms, you want to be careful when you're uploading this to any print on demand platform, because some of the rules, some of them are really strict when it comes to certain things. Um, any like meme, meme, meme sayings, right? So any of those like that sayings on funny shirt sayings on shirts, stuff like that do really well. Um, this is a, these are examples of like you're making think about it if you weren't of a person's wearing this shirt and you walk by someone I'm like oh that that shirt's really cool it's cute it's funny oh my god you know what I mean so especially just like matching couple shirts right they do really well um, so yeah that's what I mean by making the person laugh or smile okay all right guys so step number three is going to be cross niche right so basically. Google's gonna be your best friend here, guys. If you guys don't know what cross niche is, go do a Google search, but of course I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, so like for example, like say if you're in the, the sloth niche, right, and you mix it with the skateboarding niche, it's cross niching, right? Um, so that right there, and I'm gonna show you a few examples of exactly what I'm talking about in the computer. Um, and and some, of these, some of these designs do really well, and they do mixing it's like basically taking two interests that someone has and creating a, a, a design and it makes it more passionate to that person. So it makes them want to buy it. So here's a perfect example of cross niching, right? Just a girl who loves sloths and soccer, right? This is cool. Just family, soccer and sloths, right? Gets really, really passionate, right? You can see how they're just cross niching right here. And obviously it has some cells as a rating um but this is just one it's a really good example right here all right and uh the bsr is not showing up right here so um let me show you another example real fast um the sloth hiking team right so sloth and sloth and hiking uh relax we'll get there when we get there right um and then of course you come down here it has a bsr ranking of 270 um you can see it's just consistent seller right they're just crushing it you can see this is a perfect example of cross niching. So these are two examples that I wanted to show you guys and really amazing, really good. Of course, there's a little bit more into this. You can't just cross niche and just all of a sudden just make sales. You got to take a little bit more deep thought into it and understand your niche, of course, right? Tip number four is going to be make sure the design is visible on the shirt. And I'm going to show you a good example and a bad example. All right. So here's going to be an example of a design, as you can see right here. Uh, Christmas cookie baking crew. Okay, this design right here on the shirt, um, as you can see, is a little bit small, right? And, and this right here is it makes it hard for the customer to see it when they're on their phone scrolling up and down, right? Um, it makes it hard for them to see it, so it they won't most of the time they won't click on it if they can't see it in the thumbnail. So you have to have the design bigger. Right. And here's an example of you can see look, if you look at this shirt right here, you can see that it takes up a lot of the design space and you can actually read the design on your phone when you're going up and down on your phone. You can see it. Right. It, look at the difference here to here. Right. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm guilty of this, too, as well. I raise my hand. Right. Because I've done this in the past where just trying to go into a niche and try to make a sale really fast and not think about everything, right? And you try to do everything really fast and you end up making the design really small. So as you like kind of like going up and down on the, this is why obviously on the desktop, but as you're going up and down, this is what I mean. Like you look at it, you want to be able to read the design from your, well, obviously it's going to be most of the time, most of the purchase will be from the phone. You have to, you have to make sure that they can see it. So the thumbnail will be a little bit smaller on the phone compared to the computer, of course. But that's a really big thing to help increase your click through rate and that increasing the click through rate will help you make more sales. Right. It'll help you make that first purchase, that first sale to get that 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 product ranking. So it's one of the most important things right there is like most people overlook that. And I'm just like, dude, you have to have the design a little bit bigger. It can't be that small because you can't see it. Tip number five. OK, don't overthink this. Simple sales. A all black design will sell a all white design will sell you don't have to have the best illustration in the world to make a sale on a platform simple text-based designs sell okay they make money understand that and i'll show you an example in the computer all right so here's a bestseller right here it's just a plain white design okay obviously you have to understand 
what you're designing for still too does take some knowledge in what you're designing for but it just all uh, all white text-based design with a graphic okay this is it's over 20 people added it to carts crushing it and it has reviews okay simple nothing too crazy and it's just making a statement on a shirt right so the next one all black text-based design the feature is female right over 20 people added it to cart um it's <laughs> it's like you know what i mean you can't just it's like that's what i'm saying don't overthink it because simple does sell okay next one um we already went over this one this is a all plain text-based design okay no graphics no nothing just a simple funny saying on the shirt funny sayings on shirts do really well okay we know this we explained it in this video very simple it's amazing right amazing <laughs> so there is just, just gotta do the research understand the design understand the niche understand the design and all that stuff and put it all all together into play and make money baby make that money um hopefully you guys enjoy this video watch these videos right here